been in line to come and get you. Vicky, I am your sister. I mean, we know everything about each other. Just tell me the truth. Are, are you having an affair? No, I'm not having an affair. Okay. But now I've let you put me in this terrible position. Now, Clint believes a lie. Well, Vicky, you couldn't... You didn't tell him that you were going to see Sloan, and, and you shouldn't have. It would have made things worse. My darling, believe me, things couldn't get much worse. Oh. Tina, I have lied to myself. Over and over again. Now I'm tacitly lying to Clint. I mean, that's not me, is it? I cannot tell you how much I want Sloan. I want him. I wanted to go to his house tonight, but I don't dare because I know perfectly well what would happen if we were left alone. So instead, I'm risking being seen in public with him. Okay. Where are you meeting him? At the Waterside Inn. Oh. Well, most of our friends go to Giorgio's at the palace. Tina, this is not your sister. This is somebody else. Somebody who is out of control. I am upset. Oh, look, look, you call it obsession, but maybe it's something else. Maybe it's another word for it, a, a nicer word. Love. Oh, yeah, I love him. But what about my love for Clint? Because I love him. He is my husband, he's the father of my children, and we ought to be able to work this out. And God knows I have tried, and every okay, time okay, I... Okay, listen, when Sloan called tonight, all, all you did was say yes. It's... He didn't call me, I called him. You think you're shocked? You should try being me. I cannot believe I picked up the phone and... But it's just dinner. I mean, it's only dinner. Vicki, you are just... You're still denying this. I mean, you know in your heart of hearts why you picked up that phone and called oh, him. I don't know anything anymore. I always thought I was the... the smart one, the strong one, the wise one. Now I... No, I... What are you doing? I cannot see Sloan. I can't. I mean, who am I kidding? I don't trust myself. I don't trust my own strength and my own good sense anymore. Okay, okay. For once, I'm going to tell you something, okay? Just forget about your good sense, okay? Just trust your instincts tonight, all right? Just for tonight. I want... You set a date with him. Go on that date. And I promise you, sister to sister, your secret is safe with me. No matter, no matter. Why don't we try a new restaurant? Why? I thought you liked this place. I do, but I just had a sudden urge to try something new. No, you didn't. You're far too organized to change your mind like that. What's wrong? Clint is inside. Oh, God. Oh, God, this is wild. Yes, you're right. We have to go somewhere else. Is he alone? I didn't notice. Uh, I must try another place. Was... Cordy makes a great protective device. I think... I'll be get you away from here before... Her name is Lindsay Butler. She works at the Banner. I assume it's a business dinner. Oh, well, of course. But we still have to have dinner. Why don't we try the carriage lantern? It's out in the country. It's not, I... This is a mistake. It's a terrible mistake. Vicki, we're entitled to see one another for a harmless dinner. You and I both know this is far from harmless. Add to that the lies. I allowed Tina to lie to Clint for me tonight. And it didn't end there. Now I find out he's lying to me, and these lies are going to keep piling up one on top of another. Vicky, please, don't. I don't know how I let this happen to myself, to Clint, and to my marriage. I... You're not responsible for everything that's happened. Well, if I'm not, then who is? This is my life, and right now it's slipping right through my fingers. I am losing everything I love and everything I know, including myself. Vicky, please, don't. I didn't 
know you had someone. General Sloan Carpenter, this is Lindsay Butler. Yes, we, we've met, sort of. Um, although we, we never exchanged names. <laughs> really? Where did you meet? Uh, just last night. Um, at the Waterside Inn, no less. It certainly is a popular spot, isn't it? Well, thank you for the book, uh, Vicki. And I will return it as soon as I'm finished with it. I'm sure she has already figured out that you and I were not both at the Waterside Inn restaurant last night by chance. Thanks for telling, Clint. I don't know. She's ambitious, and obviously she senses that he likes her. At the same time, she can't go about pointing fingers because she was having a little work dinner herself with Clint. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe Clint having dinner with Lindsay marks a, a new phase for Clint. Maybe he's telling you that... Uh, He's moving on, and he won't be destroyed if you move on, too. Maybe that's wishful thinking. It's very, very wishful thinking. city room he said he was trying to reach you thank you i'll call him back no he told me to tell you he needs you at home right away why what's wrong all he said was that it was an urgent family matter uh thank you very much i'm uh, terribly sorry i, I have to go 